Welcome, 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 welcome. this place tonight. Good evening and good morning, Asia, and good afternoon someplace. I don't know where, but <laughs> we welcome all of you. You are welcome to an hour with Jesus. This has been going on since late March last year, and we haven't missed a week yet. That's why I said welcome to this special grace, because God is gracing us to do this every week, and we're so grateful for the opportunity to touch the nations. I tell you what, I was just peeking online for a couple of minutes before we went live and seeing all the different international guests that we have tonight worshiping with us here in Frisco, Texas at Mayberry Studios, which is right upstairs in our home. Liz is behind the controls, as usual, and uh, doing a great job for me again. We're just glad you're here. We're glad that uh, everything went live just before we, we started. There was a sudden mess up, and the keyboard wasn't playing. And I tell you what, I'd done, I had done a sound check, and then those chords, I can't explain certain things. I think the enemy loves to throw monkey wrenches in our plans. Suddenly, the cords that were connecting this keyboard were not plugged in. And there's no explanation for that. There is no explanation for that. And the keyboard can't play unless that's happening. So I don't know what was going on, but found the problem just 10 seconds before we went live. And uh, that's why I was a little bit 
sh uh, shocked when we when Liz gave me the countdown. But we're here and everything's working, and I'm so glad. And listen, um, those of you who are glory partners of ours, just a couple of announcements here. Uh, we will have a special Zoom night tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock Central Time. We do this every quarter, so we four times a year. I get in front of the camera, and every one of our partners that tune in can just have a couple of minutes to uh, say whatever you want to say or ask a question or uh, give a prayer request. We try to just deal personally with you, and it's just a fun gathering, kind of a little family. If you haven't become a Glory Partner, but you were thinking of becoming one with a monthly gift to our ministry so that this program and other things can continue, this is a great time to sign up because then you can be online with us tomorrow. Just go to newglory.org, newglory.org, and, and uh, uh, click on that donate and become a Glory Partner. Or you can call the office, which is published there on the website, 214-494-2265. And uh, you can become a Glory Partner. We would love to have you join us in this quest to take his presence to the ends of the earth. Liz and I were just in Austin, Texas last weekend, had a uh, wonderful time with A Glow International. God's presence was so beautiful and so real. I'll be sharing more about that with the Glory Partners tomorrow night in our Zoom meeting, but I uh, want to get on with the day here and um, uh, just grateful for all God is doing, going to, going to Nashville next week to take another step in this new recording that we're putting together. Had a bit of a delay in going to Prague in August, but we're trying to rectify that and seeing if we can still get over there. We need your prayers, folks. Uh, I'm sure that the enemy of my soul does not want this album to go out. He throws everything that he can at us, but he is defeated. He was defeated at Calvary. He's still defeated in July of 2021. So we don't have to worry about him. He's just a little bit of a nuisance and uh, interference in God's plan sometimes. Anyway, are you ready to praise the Lord with a loud voice? Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Hallelujah.
praise tonight lord you are all those things it's such a treat to worship you to give you praise and thanksgiving for being all those things and then just to pour out our hearts of love and adoration and worship hallelujah 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 mm -hmm. Amen. 
name above all names, beautiful Savior, glorious Lord, Emmanuel, God is with us, blessed It's just good to worship him, isn't it? Hmm. Yes. Can you feel his presence tonight?
So good just to take a few minutes and sing words that aren't on any screen or any part of a song, just to create just a little expression of worship with a melody. That's what David meant by sing a new song. Oh, man, I love to teach on that and just kind of expand people's possibilities in their own spirit. You see, you have something in you that nobody else that God has ever made has. So when you sing a new song to the Lord, you give him a glory that no one else he has ever made can give him. That's why it's so important not just to sit back and watch others worship, but to enter in with your spirit, that spirit in truth worship that blesses the Lord God so much. Amen, amen. All right, where are we going here? An oldie for you.
you. My, uh, my producer uh, did a double roll. You just heard the voice of the mysterious Liz McCalman, who is never seen these days, but she was heard tonight. And I always love it when she jumps in, and I, I told her, just keep that mic handy tonight and, and uh, jump in and do a little harmony with me. I know the people love it. They want her to sing more. I'm working on it. There's what? If it's, a hymn, I'm ready. if it's a hymn, she's ready. She loves, 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 loves the old hymns. Praise the Lord. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where shall I go?
Holy ground, I feel like we're on tonight. Holy ground. Wow. Thank you, Lord. Hmm. Um, we were singing those hymns about the cross a few minutes ago. I was thinking, you know, if you're attending a church that does not continually draw things back to the cross of Jesus, you probably need to find a new church. It is the central focus of our salvation. Everything was accomplished at the cross. That's why Jesus served communion just before he died. He said, do this often in remembrance of me. This is so critical to your walk. It's the cross that cancels our sin the act of what he did for us at that awful place on Golgotha. 
It's the cross that brought healing through the stripes of Jesus. At the cross is where we saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It's at the cross that Jesus paid once and for all for every single sin of mankind. Behold the Lamb of God, John the Baptist said, who takes away today, present tense, the sin of the world at the cross. No cross, no salvation. No cross, no hope. Sing about the cross. Hmm. What a precious part of history, the most important part of all history was the cross of Jesus. He came to die. It gets overlooked so much. He came to the earth to die for you and me. And during the course of that time, he certainly taught us so much, taught us how to live. Last week, we were talking about the Beatitudes. Blessed, blessed, blessed are those who do those things. But then he took everything that we have done wrong on his back. He who knew no sin became sin. And aren't we glad that the story doesn't end when he breathes his last and commits his spirit to the Father. <laughs> because he rose again. This sounds like an Easter sermon. It's not, but it is. Every week is Easter for the believer. It's like Dr. Jack Graham said on Easter Sunday morning, if Christ is risen, <laughs> then nothing else matters. If Christ is not risen, then nothing else matters. There's no hope. But because he rose again, by the power of the Father raising him from the dead, we have hope, we have forgiveness, we have healing, we have eternal life. Tonight, if you're struggling in some area of your life, go right back to the cross. Hand him your physical ailment tonight. Leave it at the cross where we first saw the light and the burden of our heart rolled away. Leave it at the cross. I have heard my Savior say, your strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me your all in all. Jesus paid it all. He paid for your healing. He paid for your provision. He paid for the restoration of your relationships. He paid for your eternal life. He is the great I am. <laughs> he is the wonderful counselor. He is the savior of the world and the savior of my soul. If you don't know him, just reach out right where you are and say, Be my Lord. I believe you are who you said you were. I am the way, the truth, the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory to the Lamb. The music is playing right now. One of my favorite songs. <laughs> oh God, help us always to give you glory for the cross. I wrote a chorus some time ago called, I glory in the cross. 
I glory in the cross. All my trophies I count as loss. In the cross I glory now. Mm. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross where the trophies of life I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross. Friends, we need to go back there every week, if not every day. Think about and remember the work of the cross. Mm. Unto you we lift our voice in praise, the Lamb upon the throne. The Lamb
feel his love tonight? Do you feel his love tonight, right now? Are you aware of all that he's done for you? Are you aware that he's loved you with an everlasting love? I hope you are. Father God, I lift up everyone within the sound of my voice, either now or tomorrow, or the next day, or the next week, or the next month, or the next year, or the next decade, Lord, should Jesus tarry. May they know your love. May they experience your forgiveness. For those who are sick in body, I speak to the disease tonight. As Jesus told us to take authority on the earth. He commanded us to heal the sick, and so I speak to you tonight. In your body right now, I call it to be healed. I'm just being obedient. I don't have a thus saith the Lord, only by his word. Someone wrote to us this week and said that they were healed in last week's program when we just talked about that authority. And so I speak to you tonight under the authority of Jesus himself commanded us to bring life where there's death. To be a light and to be salt. To heal the sick and raise the dead. To cast out demons in his name. I speak to you and I command the cancer cells to dry up. Every infirmity given way to divine health tonight. Jehovah Rapha is releasing his power. Thank you, Jesus, for all of the benefits. <laughs> Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all of his benefits, who heals all thy diseases, who crowns your head with loving kindness and tender mercies, who redeems your life from destruction. What a great word to end on tonight. Take courage, my friend. He is with you. He'll never leave you or forsake you. 
God bless you so much the remainder of this week. I pray that his presence is right there in your home. Visit the website if you want to make a donation or become a partner. We'd love to have you. Buy a product there. We've got a bunch of them out there. Other than that, tomorrow night, Glory Partners, I'll see you on Zoom. Pat will send you a reminder if she hasn't already. Until next time, for Liz and Terry, bye-bye for now.